The 2024 First in the Nation primary ended with winners we know all too well. One former president, one current. If it's a Biden-Trump rematch in November, that means no matter which candidate wins, it would be their second and constitutionally final term in the White House, guaranteeing an open race in 2028. Discussing the cycle ahead in an interview for Close Up, longtime primary campaign insiders Mike Dennehy and Mike Vosage say there could be a flood of presidential candidates on its way. I think 2016 was probably the largest field we've seen. I think it'll be uh, bigger than that. Uh, how many surrogates did we see in here for Donald Trump in this final week? Uh, we could be looking at good, solid, talented 20 candidates for the Republican Party in 2028, 20, uh, let alone what will happen on the Democratic side. Yeah. It's a wide open field. New Hampshire offers a level playing field. It does not pretend or claim that it's going to pick the winner, although this time we did, and uh, we did a good job. But I think we offer a level playing field, and that is all people can ask for, and it does a good job of it. Democrats might be facing another battle with the DNC over first-in-the-nation status, but the last fight didn't scare away rising stars like Congressman Ro Khanna of California, who stood with New Hampshire and came here to help with the Biden write-in effort. What struck you about what you were seeing on the ground in the days leading up to the election? What struck me is how seriously New Hampshire voters took their responsibility. Look, it's no secret many were upset with the DNC about the calendar, but they said when you vote for president, it's not just about the DNC calendar, it's who can be the leader of the free world. Political pros say New Hampshire proved once again it cannot be overlooked. It's at anybody's peril to skip New Hampshire. We're one of the only early states that's a battleground state. Adam Sexton, WMUR News 9.